I've got nine mini boxes of Poppy Playtime cereal. Each of these boxes has custom made food specifically for that character. Plus, ah, I will be making three Poppy Playtime drinks. These drinks I will mix with the cereal, which uh, it could be a very bad idea, but I'm also hoping that there will be some good combinations. So for the first three cereals, we are mixing it with the Huggy Wuggy drink. So as you know, Huggy Wuggy is lactose intolerant, so we need to use some almond milk. Now, most people just use milk on their cereal, but in this case, we need to add a lot more ingredients. We need to add a little bit of fruit to this, so some blueberries would be pretty nice. You know, he's pretty blue, guys. It wouldn't be a huggy wuggy drink without some hugs, so yeah, we, we need to add some of these. And some Gatorade and some Bing Blue. We got this blue theme going on. Actually, I don't even know what this is. Yeah, he's always running through all those vents, burning up a lot of electrolytes. Blue cotton candy and blue Pop-Tarts. Uh, you know, at this point, I mean, it might as well, right? Uh, yeah, I don't want to add too much of this stuff, just a, a little bit. Okay, may maybe a little bit more. Uh, yeah, like if this drink isn't sugary enough, well, it's sugary enough now. And of course, a blue monster. Uh, honestly, guys, <laughs> don't drink these. No matter what age you are, these are so bad for you. I only take a sip of monster for these drink videos. I, I never drink energy drinks in real life. The, the only people who should be drinking these is Huggy Wuggy. Uh, if you think Huggy Wuggy is scary in the game, oh, just wait till you see him drinking this. You have no idea. Uh, okay, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, oh no. What have I gotten myself into? Uh. It's got like a very sweet blueberry bubbly taste to it. It's it's actually better than I thought it would be. I, I, I'm gonna give this a six and a half out of 10. Now the question is, is what even is a cereal these days? Because if you have chocolate chip cookies is now considered a cereal, then I, I don't even know anymore. We're starting out with Daisy. Daisy is gonna be mixed with Huggy Wuggy. And you're probably thinking, what on earth could Daisy have in a cereal? Well, it's a good question. You really have to think about it. I'll show you what I came up with. So we need some sunflower things such as sun chips, sunflower seeds, uh, walnuts, and some golden raisins. Uh, I, hey, I think this works. Now, um, if we mix this all up real fast, and we've got this like trail mix type combo. The, the rest of these cereals are super sugary. This is, this is probably the healthiest one right here. So, uh, hey, I, I'm proud of this one. And well, it's uh, ready to do a little uh, taste test. Uh, the things I do for YouTube, uh, well, it's, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be well worth it. I will be ranking these cereals from one to 10. One the worst, 10 the best. If it gets like a seven or above, then I think it should be sold in the stores. Mm. This one needs to just stay as a trail mix. This is not a cereal. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm gonna give you a three out of 10, okay? Next, we've got a fan favorite. Someone we haven't seen too much of in the first two chapters, but I'm hoping to see more of her in chapter three. And that is, of course, Kissy Missy, also known as Cassie Bassie. Mixing this with Huggy Wuggy is gonna be very interesting. Of course, we got some kisses, some pink kisses. Would you rather have hugs or kisses? Uh, well, in this case, kisses. And some uh, pink cereal. I think this is the, the Jojo Siwa cereal, but uh, well, no one needs to know about that. <laughs> but, uh, pink sweet tar ropes. You know, to go with her uh, bendy arms and legs. Pink pretzels. Uh, I'm sure Kissy Missy could turn into a pretzel. And some of these interesting uh, pink marshmallow treats. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, well, yeah, it does look a little weird, doesn't it? But, uh, hey, I, I think these are all things that Kissy Missy would eat, right? So, hey, I, it's not too bad. I'm actually kind of curious about this one. Okay, Kissy Missy, uh, don't, don't fail me now. Yeah, I, I don't even like putting milk on my cereal, so, um, I might be a little tough with these ratings, but, hey, I, th this is my professional opinion right now, so. Mmm. What really stands out in this is the chocolate. And that's what really saved the cereal for me. Uh, a six, okay? Like, I, hey, Kissy Missy, you're, you're awesome, but um, I think you could use a little bit of improvement too. Next, we've got a character that we only see in toy form or on posters. I, I'm hoping to see more of this character in the future, and that is the very lovable 
Brawn! Yeah, the dinosaur. We will be mixing Brawn with Huggy Wuggy. I, I don't know if that's the best combination. And for Brawn, we're gonna have animal crackers, goldfish, circus animal crackers, and some red cereal all combined into one. And yeah, Brawn, he's, he's into animal foods, I guess. That, that's what I'm thinking. And uh, hey, this, this doesn't look too bad. I, I would eat this as a snack for sure, even though it's, it's a little sugary. I'm looking for the perfect combo, but I, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, I am rating this a 7 out of 10, which means I would approve this to be sold at a store, which uh, is very good for Braun, uh, and it also means that it improved upon the taste of the Huggy Wuggy drink. For the next drink that we will be mixing with the next three cereals is the one and only Mommy Long Legs. Yes, a very terrifying character indeed. Uh, this combination, uh, it's, it's gonna be a tough one. Well, I don't know. You guys be the judge of this. This is what I would put in a Mommy Long Legs drink. She likes some good uh, cow milk. <laughs> she needs some uh, good vitamin D. This helps with her morning yoga. You know, keep her long arms uh, very flexible. We need some type of fruit, so red raspberries, you know, and might as well. I, I don't know if she eats this or not, but. Strawberry shortcake popsicles. Uh, these are actually pretty good. And uh, you know what? This, this drink doesn't look too bad. I, it's, all, it's all good stuff so far. Mountain Dew and... Oh no, bone broth, uh, oh no. Oh yeah, she uh, she likes to break the bones of her enemies, crunch them down. We got these uh, pink stick things. Uh, okay, might as well throw them in. I don't know what these will do, but. And her personality's a bit uh, toxic, shall we say? Uh, she's not really the best with kids. She's not really the mother type. Uh, she often terrorizes her kids, but uh, hey, maybe it's tough love. You never know. And she's actually a pretty big fan of birthdays with cupcakes. Uh, there was always some kid having a birthday at some point. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is the bone broth, but hey, I, I don't think I'll be able to taste it too much. It actually kind of looks like the smoothies you'd get from McDonald's, but um, in terms of taste, well, that's a different story. Huh? It's not going to taste the same. Very weird. It's uh, it's very sweet. It's also very sour, and I, I think it's the toxic waste in it. Like, oh, why would you drink this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why would I drink this? Oh, why would I drink this? Uh, I'm gonna have to change up my strategy. Give separate ratings to things. This right here. This uh, two out of ten. Uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, there's things I put in here that I should not have put in here. Next, we've got a character that absolutely terrifies me. I'm sure this character was good at one point, but uh, he turned to the dark side. And that is Bunzo the Bunny. If you don't eat your Bunzo cereal fast enough, he's gonna sweep down from the roof and eat it for you. And we have to mix this with Mommy Long Legs. This is probably a recipe for absolute chaos. Bunny Grams, of course you would love these. It, it reminds him of his childhood. Green and yellow Cheerios, well, that's his colors. And uh, some mini marshmallows, uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, and all combined together, we get something kind of like this. Uh, yeah, Bunzo, I'm sure he likes marshmallows. He can, he can probably eat a lot of them. Uh, you know, the only reason Bunzo tries to oof you in the game is uh, well, he's, he's a little hangry. He, he didn't have his breakfast cereal, so yeah, that's why. Okay, this is just the cereal by itself, no drink. Mm. Uh, yes, we've got a great cereal here. Maybe it's just the marshmallows that really bring out the taste, but I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. And next, we've got another fan favorite. This is someone we really don't see much of, but I'm hoping to see more of in chapter three. I'm also hoping that this character is a good character. Candy Cat! Well, we're gonna have to mix this with Mommy Long Legs. Uh, so we've got uh, candy! <laughs> so we've got a uh, Kit Kat, Candy Cat, Kit Kat. The mini versions. We've also got the pretzel M&Ms. Oh, and Candy Cat only likes the blue ones. Nerds and Mike and Ikes and candy overload. Yeah, I was making fun of Cookie Crisp, and now look what I've done. I'm literally making candy cereal. Oh, this is so unhealthy. This is so bad for you. Yeah, to don't be eating cereal like this, or, or else you won't be living long enough to see Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. I'm just gonna add normal milk to this. Uh, yeah, no more Mommy Long Legs drink. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, no, Candy Cat. 
Uh, I had such high expectations for you! Oh, no. Yeah, candy and milk, they just don't mix the best. Uh, and some of you could have probably have guessed that right away, but hey, you never know. That's why you have to experiment with stuff. Uh, three out of ten. Next, we've got a set of characters that are, um, very frustrating. I, I had a lot of trouble passing this level, and that is, of course, the Wacka Wuggies. I, hopefully this food doesn't make my stress levels just skyrocket through the roof. Hugs, uh, yeah, that's, this is all the Wacka Wuggies want, is just to give you a nice hug. I know their hugs might be a little aggressive, but hey, that's, that's just who they are. They're just uh, a bunch of happy Huggy Wuggies. I think there's like four different Wacka Wuggy colors. Oh, no, not this. Oh, man, okay, uh, well, I guess they can be a little sour sometime. And all the Wuggies combined together makes uh, this uh, sugary candy stuff. Oh man, they're, they're probably hyped up on this. That's why they're so crazy. R really, they just want some more meat in their diet. Some more flesh or... Or maybe they just want to give you a smile. Maybe that's all they want to give you. Uh, yeah! We got a bowl of cereal and... Uh, oh, I'm so sick of cereal. Don't worry, guys. There, there will be a cereal that I like. It's just, uh, just a matter of time. I'm hoping it's this one. <laughs> Oh! Ah! That's the popcorn! Oh no. Ah. Oh, one out of ten! Literally one out of ten! Oh, the cereal's making me so frustrated right now. It's uh, I mean, I guess when you get all the wuggies together, it just it just turns into a bad combo. I mean, can you even imagine if I added mommy long legs to this? It'd be like a negative, like a negative five. And for the last drink, we've got a character that uh, will be your friend one moment and then backstab you the next moment. You all know who I'm talking about. That is, of course, Poppy. Now, this Poppy drink, it could go either way. It could be a very good tasting drink or a bad tasting drink. It's, it's hard to tell. We're mixing this drink with the next three cereals. Now, when Poppy was growing up, times were tough. She couldn't always get the cow's milk, so she had to go with the, the powdered milk. Even though she wanted cow's milk, she ended up getting used to this powdered milk. At least that's what I think happened. She had to mix her powdered milk with water. It's not the best. And since she's an old-fashioned doll, she needed some old-fashioned drinks like brownie root beer since 1929 and Americano classic cherry Coca-Cola. And the Coca-Cola back in the day, well, it was very different than uh, the Coke we're used to these days. And of course, she grew up with the classic Little Debbie foods, such as oatmeal cream pies, which she loves. So we'll put one there and one uh, there. She also grew up around the Quakers, like Quaker oats. Uh, she trusts this food. Uh, even though this is a little bit weird to add to a drink. 100% uh, raw honey. She likes to keep it natural. You can actually see some of the beehive in there, which is uh, pretty cool. She likes it straight from the beehive. None of this processed honey that we have these days. And guys, you're not gonna believe this, but I found a drink called Poppy. It's not spelled the same, but I mean, hey, this is amazing. You can buy an actual Poppy drink in the store. Now, how does this taste? Uh, I don't know. Okay, Poppy, here we go. Uh, hopefully there's nothing uh, unexpected in this drink. Uh, it kind of looks like a little bit of a root beer float, maybe. Uh, okay, Poppy, uh, let's be friends, uh, not enemies. <laughs> it's actually good. It's actually good. I was just kind of coughing there while I drank. I, overall, this is a seven and a half out of 10. Uh, Poppy did not betray me, which is very good. She is my friend. Oh yeah, and, and what does it taste like? It, uh, it tastes like a, a honey root beer and I don't even taste any of the oats in it. So it's, uh, it's great. Next, we've got a character that we don't see too much of, just kind of in toy form. And that is Boogie Bot. Now, I'll, I'll say, I had a tough time trying to figure out what Boogie Bot would eat in a cereal. I mean, like what, like batteries? Anyways, I did come up with something. I got some green cereal, because he's green. Green Mandarios, yeah. Green Rice Krispie Minecraft treats. Uh, now these will work well. And uh, I mean, might as well throw in some AAA batteries in there. Just, uh, or, uh, uh, well, actually, no, no, never mind. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Okay, let's mix all this together. Kabam! And it all mixed together, we've got, uh, okay, okay, this, uh, uh it's incredibly sugary, but and overall, this is a great combo. I, I think this works. Okay, it's time to boogie it up on the dance floor. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
This is amazing. It really stands out. Uh, maybe it's just because I really like Rice Krispie treats, but I'm gonna give this an incredible nine out of 10. And these two combined together, well, they got something going on because this is also a nine out of 10 combination, which is amazing. Next, we've got a character that I know a lot of you really like. A very cute character, very adorable. Everyone would want this as a pet. I, I assume so. And that is Cappy. Yeah, this this is gonna be a good cereal. Honey Nut Cheerios, this is the perfect cereal for this character. And yellow Cheerios, uh, just to make it more yellow. Snicker popcorn, now this popcorn is a lot better. And Whoppers, because they're brown. Of course, we're throwing some more raw honey on, just to make it extra sweet. Busy as a cat bee. Now, I probably should have added some type of cat food to this, but I don't want to eat actual cat food. So, I, I think this is gonna work. The, Cappy would be eating this for sure. I have high hopes for this cereal. This, this looks pretty tasty to me. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm starting to learn is you probably don't want to put popcorn in your cereal. I mean, it's not as bad as the Wuggy cereal, but it's, it's just all right. I'll get it a five out of 10. Uh, these two combined together, it's like a five and a half. Take out the popcorn in it, 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 I think it'd become like a seven. Next, we've got a character that has, uh, he has a lot of shoes, cause he has a lot of legs and a lot of feet. PJ Pugapillar mixed with mommy long legs. Uh, oh, I don't even know what this is gonna do to me. But... Now, I'm pretty happy with this combination. We've got some blue Cheerios, some creepy crawlers, and some shoes. So uh, if you combine the sour crawlers with the sour shoes, it's actually kind of looking like PJ Pugapillar a little bit, doesn't it? Come on, everything to Now, I could have thrown in some type of dog food or dog treat, but uh, I mean, uh, I, I think I'm happy with this. This this is this is looking all right. And we got the incredible Pugapillar. Well, everyone, it all comes down to this. And it better be a good cereal, because I, I don't want to end on a bad cereal. Mm, no. No, no. I, I think there's a reason why we don't do sour cereals. Um, PJ Pugapillar, that's, um, uh, that's probably about a three out of 10. And I didn't want to go out like this, no! And these two combined together, it's still a three out of 10. I, it didn't even change the taste of it. Well, Bunzo and Boogie Bot were the best cereals and Poppy was the best drink. Was it worth it? to eat all those other cereals just to find that out, you'll never know. But you will know that you guys are the best. Like, subscribe, see you guys soon.